Good evening ladies and gents. We're at Charing Cross and you're looking at the Eleanor Cross. Let's cross over quickly. <coughs> Charing Cross is so named for this. Skatal took we're there's cabs around here. Uh, here we are. In formation. Queen Eleanor Memorial Cross. Queen Eleanor Memorial Cross was erected in 1865 as the centrepiece to the newly opened Charing Cross Railway Station. It was commissioned by Eastern Railway Company, who also owned the Charing Cross Hotel built above the station. <coughs> A year after its opening. It's, ornate re um, it's an ornate remodelling of the medieval Eleanor Cross built by King Edward I in memory of his beloved wife, Queen Eleanor of Castile, who died in 1290. He placed 12 Eleanor crosses at locations where her funeral cortege stopped overnight on the route from Lincoln. Uh, near where she died to her funeral at Westminster Abbey. <coughs> the original Eleanor Cross Memorial... Sorry, the original Eleanor Cross remained in place near Westminster until the Civil War in 1647 when it was demolished and replaced with the equestrian statue of King Charles I. This memorial cross was designed by the British architect at the Chain Cross Hotel, Edward Berry. He based the cross on surveying drawings of the original Eleanor Cross, other Eleanor Crosses and Queen Eleanor's tomb at Westminster Abbey. Constructed by British sculptor Thomas Yip using Portland and Mansfield stone and Aberdeen granite. The octagonal Gothic tower features three stages within the spire and a cross at the top. Uh, shields in the panels on the first stage are copied from remaining Eleanor crosses in Waltham and Northampton. Uh, they bear coats of arms from England, Leon and Castile, Spain and Ponthieu. France. Near the top of the monument stands eight crown statues of Queen Eleanor. Four show her as a queen with an Auburn scepter. Four show her with Christian symbols. Angels kneel at her feet. Each of the statues. The network Rail are now the owners of the station and extensively renovated the memorial in 2008. Uh, sorry, 2009 to 2010. More than 100 missing or damaged pieces were replaced. I remember this being uh, restored. I won't read that whole thing out there because it's going to get a bit long, but if you want to read that, you can pause and, pause and read. And it is covered in meshing up there because of the pigeon poo, because it would just corrode it away. There she is, Queen Eleanor. King Edward was devastated by the loss of the Queen. Their marriage, although it was a dynastic marriage, they were lucky it turned to a love match. And he was absolutely grief-stricken when she died. And as it said there, wherever she stood, her funeral corsage stopped on the way back to London. He had a cross raised in her memory. Waltham Holy Cross is uh, another one I have seen, which I'll probably show, or will show when I get round to it. And Charing Cross Station. So Charing Cross is either named for this station or the cross or whatever you. I'm not quite certain about that one. So I'll leave that up to the experts. It's all cobblestones here and they're very unlevel. The Victorians were absolutely fantastic engineers, craftsmen and architects. And they loved the medieval and the high gothic, so this was right up their alley. They just 
this was like their version of a mixed bag creating this. They love this kind of thing, the Victorians. Architectural detail in these things is just amazing. Carving and all that. As it says though, a lot of it's been restored and repaired. The coats of arms are very good as well, of course. So we've done the top bit. Coats of arms. There we are, ladies and gents. I hope you all found that interesting it's a little bit of history i'll put more history of it in the description of course so if you did like it please give it a like and a share thank you very much